How selfish for the devil to think that he would always win humanity. How ignorant for him to just think that he had this all nipped up and it was all in the bag. How foolish of him to even think that permanently that he would seduce and put the people of God in a spiritual coma in a trance to control them where they will always do what he wanted them to do. I say right now in the name of Jesus Christ, there has been a spiritual eruption. I want you to understand that day by day by day by day, millions of souls are being awakened to the frequency of heaven. I want you to understand that many of you that clicked up on this video today have been planted in this earth to raise the frequency of love up on this planet. I want you to know that the demons from hell have begun to cry out real, 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 real loud because they know that they cannot survive in the frequency of love. I want you to understand that they wanted you programmed so that you will always be worrying about your bills. You'll always be sick. You'll always be depressed. You'll always be traumatized. You'll always be envious. You'll always be jealous. You'll always be full of hatred because they know that those emotions themselves are linked to a frequency that's on the outside of you in this element that we're living in today. And I want you to understand that there are demons or angels attached to a frequency now. And because we have worked so hard throughout the whole world, us as thought teachers, thought uh, leaders, philosophers, spiritual people, from all walks of life have worked so hard to raise the frequency of love on this planet, to raise the acknowledgement of a supreme God that runs all things in this earth, to raise the level of spiritual awareness so that people understand that you can love in the midst of hate. You can be hopeful in the midst of hopelessness. You can have peace in the midst of your storm. You can have excitement in the place of anxiety. You can have potential in the place of nothing at all. You can have a dream or a destiny regardless to what you see. I want you to understand something real, 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 real quick. And that is the gig is up. The level of awareness has been awakened. God has entered into this place. Thoughts are beginning to elevate to learn more about the kingdom. Frequency have been raised because people are no longer willing to just fall into depression. They're fighting for their lives. They're no willing to just fall into anxiety. They're fighting for their lives. They're no willing to fall into the, to despair and to jealousy and all this stuff because they have raised their level of awareness to a point of just accepting what God allows. I want you to know that it is so much power right there. Just right there. If you don't do nothing else, I'm going to tell you something. When you can just sit there and you can accept what God allows in your life. Let me tell you something. You are creating spiritual space for angels that belong to the most high to pull you up spiritually closer to God. Come on, somebody. See, when you can accept what God allows, you ex you, uh, you just, I can't even hardly say it because I get so excited. Acceptance is a beautiful thing. That's when you're no longer willing to force it. If it don't fit, you don't force it. You just relax and let it flow because you understand that energies are always moving. You understand that spirits are always moving in frequency. Now, you know, if you didn't know, you know now. So it's very important for you to check yourself internally because I want you to understand that everything that you experience on the outside and you experienced it on the inside first, everything that you see on the outside, it was on the inside first, everything that you, you physically see on the outside, it was a thought in your mind first. I'm going to take it a little bit deeper. Everything that you say outside, when you speak something, it all began with a thought. But where does thought come from? Baby, thought is spiritual. Come on, somebody. Daddy wants you to know that. 
out. Oh, nobody knows where thought comes from. Baby, it's coming from one or two faces, one or two places, and it's very spiritual. Thought is coming from one or two places. Let me go ahead and just put the nail in the coffin for the evil ones. Thought is going to come from one or two places, and it's, it's spiritual. God or the devil. Ho-ho! <laughs> you choose it. Just because I hear it don't mean I have to accept it. Just because I hear it doesn't mean I got to say it. Just because I hear it doesn't mean that it has to be a part of my experience. I want you to understand that the only time that a thought becomes a part of your experience is when you receive it. You are spiritual antennas in this environment. <laughs> I want you to know this. The only time thought becomes relevant in your life. It's when you allow a thought to penetrate in your mind and anchor itself in your heart and you begin to speak that into your life, it becomes your reality. You are that powerful. God has awakened you to the knowledge of the truth. And the reason why you know it, well, it's, I, it's another whole conversation. But here's the, you know it now. So now you have the power to produce. I heard the Lord, I heard him say it. Oh, in my ear, just now mass production. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Somebody is working on something. This is turning in another direction. Somebody is working on something. They're putting together a product. They're putting together some services. They're putting together something that they've been working on for a very, very, very long time. But I just heard the Lord say mass production. I don't know whoever that is. God says that when you put your thoughts in the right direction and when you stay connected to me and whatever you say and you put your hands hands on, you are indeed linked to a multiplier. Come on, somebody. God is saying that he wants to take something that's in your imagination. This is for everybody. And he wants to allow that good thing to trickle down into the hollows of your mind down throughout your system and anchor into your heart. He wants to stir up an emotional frequency of just love and excitement, enthusiasm, and all kind of hope. He wants to stir that up so it can go out into this atmosphere so an angel from heaven can grab it and begin to produce magic production for you because God told me to let you know that you are connected to a multiplier and until the next video guys peace I am so excited for you and I believe in you too bye now